Good evening. It's Pastor Trish. Sorry, I'm a, a little late this evening, just coming from another meeting. But it is a good day. Um, it is always a good day, right, when we know that God walks with us. And so on this day, we hear God walking with us. We give both prayer and praise to God. Uh, one of the things that I'd read about Psalm 61 which is the psalm we're doing this evening, is it is both a psalm of prayer and praise, and it is also a psalm both of God and government. I like thinking about it that way. So first, prayer and praise. You will hear a cry for help. It uses the imagery of calling to God for help and um, the metaphor of the rock. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And the rock, of course, is a metaphor we often hear. Uh, rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Or um, you hear the rock in a lot of other hymns and songs. My hope is built on nothing less. Uh, so watch for that as you are singing or thinking about it. Or maybe I've now just put rock of ages in your brain and you'll be singing it the rest of the evening. So we hear that. The psalmist crying out for help, being far away and asking for God. And then the psalm, of course, will end with praise as well. The psalm also talks about God and government. So it talks about um, where God is and giving thanks for God being present. And also praise then expands after saying, thank you, God, for taking care of and rescuing me. Also take care of, in this case, the psalmist talks about the king. But we can kind of extrapolate that meaning as well, take care of our leaders. And again, during this time, it's an important thing to ask God to guide and um, lead the, our leaders as well. And so let's uh, pray the Psalm together and then we'll end as well with a short prayer for our own government leaders this evening. Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you are my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me abide in your tent forever, find refuge under, under the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. I like that you've given me the heritage of those who fear your name. We give thanks to those who have gone before us and have shown us how to trust and fear and love the Lord. And then goes on praying for that king. Prolong the life of the king. May his years endure to all generations. May he be enthroned forever before God and point steadfast love and faithfulness to watch over him. And we end, so I will always sing praises to your name as I pay my vows day after day. Please join me in prayer. God, we give you thanks that when we call out for help, you answer us and you walk with us. We indeed do sing your praises and we desire to sing your praises day after day. Tonight, God, we lift up before you the leaders of our government. We uh, lift up President Trump, members of Congress, especially our own senators and representatives. We lift up Governor Waltz and our own representatives and senators from Minnesota. And we lift up our local leaders, county commissioners, city councils, and mayors. We pray, God, that your will will be done in their hearts. We pray that they will follow in the ways that you would desire as the psalmist has prayed, we pray that you will give them steadfast love and faithfulness and watch over them and watch over us in our world. All this we pray to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. Amen. We will see you tomorrow evening. Have a good night.